Yo, what are you saying, bro? <coughs> yo, listen. Yo, if you're not a fucking team player, bro, don't have no fucking kids, bro. Okay? A family is a team sport. It's it's not a one-on-one. -on -one, okay? It's not boxing. It's a team sport like soccer. So if you're not a team player, you don't give a fuck about the people, you don't care about kids, you don't like kids, you abuse kids, you give kids away. You, you think you know it all. You, you try to treat kids like shit because you were treated like shit. Don't have kids, bro. Don't have kids. He's going to come back, maybe put you in the dirt like me, bro. D don't have no kids. Especially when you're grade A, straight A students, and then you're upset that he's doing running laps around your other stupid kids you never abandoned who were struggling to get C's and B's. But yo, that's, that's not even the main thing. That's not, not even for the ski and for your sake, bro. Your life is over once you have kids. Unless you're just a straight up piece of shit and you just fucking abandon them and go do your own thing. Then, yeah, then then your life's not over. But once you have kids, your life's fucking over. Yo, a million girls want to have my kids. No. You know what I mean? On purpose. Why? Because uh, you got to have your money first, bro. You got to have your money fucking first. Because uh, once you have kids, that shit drains your money on top of the rent and on top of that. And then you're never going to get around to doing what you want to do and... And then stupid bitches are there blaming the kids. No, it's not the fucking kid's fault, bro. The kid didn't sign up for this. You know what I mean? And, and it, like, so, so be a fucking responsible adult to begin with, okay? So if you know who, like, I, I know who I am. Like, <clears throat> me, I, like, kids love me. And, like, I don't love kids sexually, but, like, yo, I like kids. God bless them. I like them more than these piece of shit adults that are fucking child abusers. You know what I'm saying? Because at least the kids are real with it. They're honest about shit. I'm like these piece of shit lying monkeys, you know? But I don't fucking like kids, and I don't... I don't want no fucking baby screaming. I like my peace and quiet. I know kids, you're not going to, once you have a kid, you're not going to sleep for five, six years because they're screaming in the middle of the night, this and that. We're going to go beat the kid. No, that's what they do. That's how they, before they learn to talk, they just, they just yelling. So if you know you're going to have a problem with that, don't have no kids. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to beat the kid, but, you know, I had to, I'll take care of the kid. I'm just saying, but I know I got, I still got one or two things to do. Like, I want, you know what I mean? You, you're not going to do everything you want to do when you have a hundred little kids running around. And then got to go to work to come up with the money to feed these little motherfuckers, bro. Because money doesn't grow on trees. Yeah, these guys are all fucking stupid, bro. These guys are all fucking stupid. And they think they know it all. And then they're going to have 100 kids. They can't. How are you going to have the fourth and the fifth kid when you can't take care of the third? And the second and third? These guys are fucking idiots, bro. They asked me to babysit th their kids, three kids. She's going to have another kid. You're, you need help with three, bro. How are you going to manage four? You stupid fuck. These guys can't handle what's on their plate. They want to bite more. You can't handle what's on your plate, you stupid fuck. Shit happens, you fucking go and run for help. Because you can't handle what's on your plate. Yeah, yeah. bring a hundred kids into the mix. Because you can't handle it, but your little kids are going to handle it. For sure. A hundred percent. A hundred percent sure. Yeah, you guys are idiots, bro. And like, yo... Yo, bro, it's a fucking team. It's a fucking team sport. A family's a team sport, bro. So if you're not a fucking team player, don't have no fucking kids, bro. It's that fucking simple, bro. At one point, my fucking piece of shit family was paying like fifteen grand, a thousand dollars a month on rent, bro. You can't make this up. And, and this was this was like twenty years ago before the. Cause now one rent is ten, fifteen grand for a big house. Like this piece of shit house is ten grand or nine grand with a minimal down payment, bro. This piece of shit hundred eighty grand bungle just sold for like one point six or one point five, whatever the fuck they sold it, bro. Listen. But I'm talking about back in the day, bro, when, when, when one rent was like, uh, you know what I mean? My mother was paying like $1,300 so on her fucking shit. I was paying like eleven, twelve hundred rent. The in-laws, they're paying like a couple of grand. My dad's paying a grand. <clears throat> my brother just moved out when he was 30 before my mother left. He got his own place like a grand. Yo, it was like 10 grand or something. I did the math, but I can't remember. But between all of us, it was like 10 fucking 15 grand, whatever it was. Meanwhile... For like five bands less, you could have got a big mansion in those parts. Everyone had their own parts of the house, and, and you save ten grand a month or something. You know what I mean? Or, or like you get the mortgage and you own the house, bro. There's people like Indians that come here, bro. Like ten, twenty motherfuckers in the house in five years is paid off. But then in five, ten, twenty years, bro, they, they they got ten houses. My fucking piece of shit's family's been here for fucking decades. They still own nothing. They left with nothing, bro. They, my mother was fifty grand a year when the house was two hundred grand, bro. She has not, she's a fucking, and I told her to buy all oh, she do. I told her, I knew, I knew, I knew, and I told her, I begged her a million times. You guys don't want to listen when you're the second born and you're the abandoned kid. They laugh at me. These, these piece of shit, C student. Yo, how do you laugh at an A student when you're a C student with the same teachers? Be like, yo, if you had half a brain, be like, yo, wait a minute. This guy can't be that retarded because I was in the same class with the same teacher and I was struggling to get C's. This guy's getting A++. Maybe he's not that stupid. Oh, no, I'm the older brother and the older sister. And everyone, and, oh, it's their mother. It's their, it must be true. You guys are all fucking losers, bro. Like your piece of shit cousin comes to my, that piece of shit's been here since he's like five years old, bro. 50 years. He doesn't own. You don't own now. Yo, 
I know people have been here for 100 years, they don't own nothing, you piece of shit. I'm 600,000 in on fucking rent. This piece of shit is twice my age. And, and he, I don't think he's that much in on rent, bro. With kids and all. And he comes to my house and tries to make prom for me because I live on York Mills. He never lived on York Mills. You don't own either. You don't own shit either. Until you make your fucking final payment with the fucking bank, you don't own shit. And if you don't fucking come up with that fucking money every 30 days, they're going to come and take your shit. You don't own shit either. All these fucking fools put down payments on cards and things, and they're just juggling everything, playing the fucking boss man and shit. Like, yo, my nigga, everything I have, a f I fucking own for decades, since I, all my life. The only thing I never owned was my fucking, the, the place I lived at. And I would've, bro. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Yo, if you have family, bro, stay with your fucking mother. Dad, all you gotta do is stay one, two years and save a hundred grand. And you, you're set. You could do a million things with a hundred grand. You can't do nothing with nothing, and you can't save nothing. You can't do nothing with nothing. And you, and you can't save something from nothing, bro. And there's nothing left when you pay all the fucking bills. You understand me? The only reason is, yo, all these chains and everything. I, yo, I'm the only guy with money. Because I'm the only guy that knows how to sacrifice and knows how to cut some corners and shit to save your money, bro. Because if you pay to get a nice condo and a nice car and a nice everything, you're not going to have money to pay your beer, bro. <laughs> at the end of the month. So, you know what I mean? So, you could do that for a million years. You'll still have nothing. So... You're just, you're just pretending you're like, yo, bro, me, I, I was the only guy who ever had money my whole life, bro. I'm the only guy ever. Anytime, I was like, bro, only guy, bro. These guys are all fucking, these guys are all fucking money. This was the first year I was handicapped and didn't make no money. It's the first fucking year of my life, bro. I've been making money since I was three. Why? Because no fucking parents. That's what I'm saying. If you have kids, bro, raise your fucking kids, bro. I could, I, yo, I could have made millions in a million ways. And these pieces of shit would have been, parents would have been millionaires, bro. My, I would have been a soccer player, millionaire. I told that bitch to buy that house. Fucking a million times. The house is like two, three million out of the property. Alone, without a, it was a two story out without that. Bro, 200 grand would have been two million. That's 20 times your money, 10 times your money. No, they don't want to listen. Yo, I left, so it should have been a million there. But the soccer, they've been millionaires. I used to be a professional, I used to be sick, bro. Yo, I fucking paid three of those houses in rents, bro. That's three houses at two million a piece, that's six million, bro. <laughs> Just this is what I rent, paid in rent would have been millions. This, I could have paid that house, the, mother, the house my mother didn't pay, and two other houses. No, because. Yeah, I don't have credit now, bro. I'm 40. I had cash. Why would I get credit when I have cash, bro? Credit's for fucking poor bums and for slaves, bro. For slaves that have no money and for bums. If you have money, why would the fuck would I get your credit card to go buy some I could buy in cash a million times? Yo, credit is only good if you want to buy houses and like build credit. Yeah, for business, to buy houses, shit like that. Because you need credit. No one's for business and for houses, you need credit. That's the only thing, bro. For like rent a hotel and shit. I don't, I have my own house. I don't need a hotel. You know what I mean? But, and I always have money, so I never fuck with the credit thing. But yeah, if you want to buy a house, but you know, yo, bro, I was trying to get my shit and go back home, bro. Nobody wants to live in your piece of shit country with your piece of shit racist, thinking you're better than the other. <laughs> with your little piece of shit quarter acre lot. <laughs> $10 million. You guys are losers over here. You guys are fucking bums, bro. But they, they can't go anywhere else because, yo, these guys are scared to go down here to get robbed. They'll get robbed in their own country here in the first world. They, they can't even walk around their own country in the first world without getting robbed, bro. You guys are bums. But yo, check this out, bro. Don't have fucking kids and don't have a family unless you're trying to raise. You don't have to, you just, you just have kids for their own, for their own, to 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 fucking motivate. Yo, a kid is not a motivational tool. You stupid fuck. These guys have kids. Oh yeah, it's gonna motivate. That's not what a kid is. A kid is not a. That's a life. It's a person. It's a soul. It's not a fucking motivational tool. You piece of shit. And then the kid don't know how to fucking speak. They don't spend no time with. Yo, a kid is not gonna learn nothing because you run away and leave them there. You guys are fucking idiots, bro. And it is the kid's fault after, yeah? Fuck, you guys are fucking idiots, bro. I'm tired of the bullshit. And he's fuck, yo, I'm tired of, yo. The half, majority's fucking losers sh are, should not be allowed to have kids, bro. They, sh they should not. There should be some kind of test, some kind of parental test to just, you know what I mean? The rationalization process. Like, this piece of shit, that same piece of shit causing that... That fucking stole my computer with my video, my soccer movie, and tells people I attacked his wife when they were attacking me verbally, disrespecting me, and I wasn't having it. I didn't attack them. I just I wasn't having their disrespect because I've been breaking my back for 20 some years. <laughs> when did you work? When did you? While well, this piece of shit's been in his house for 30 years, sucking dick, and can't get no pussy from his fucking wife jerking off. Probably told my shit to jerk off to my videos because they all know I make pornos with bitches. These guys. Yo, these guys have pornos from, they downloaded from the net. I have pornos with bitches that I fucked. And, and like, they knew the cameras was in their face and shit. Like, it's different. It's different. I, I do this shit in real life. These guys can't even fucking do it in a video game. In a fucking video game playing grown-ass men, bro. And, and, and this piece of shit doesn't want to help his own kids. I'm going to listen. If you don't help your kid, who's going to help him? Who's going to fucking help your kid if you don't help him, bro? Who? Who? You don't want to help your... Who's going to help him, bro? The stranger? 
Who, bro? The child mother? Who's gonna help your kid, bro? You don't wanna help him. Who's gonna help him? You guys are fucking dipshits, bro. Like, they, like why, why are you bringing kids in here so, so, they, could, so they could suffer? Because you suffered? Because you're a piece of shit coward and a fucking bum and a loser? So yeah, let's bring some kids so they could suffer too. Yeah, that, that's why yo, these guys are pieces of shits, bro. If you're not, and, and yo, when you don't help your kids and you're not there for your kid, that's sending messages to everybody else that yo, his own parents aren't helping him. He must be a piece of shit. And then, and then they try to justify why they, they get to be a child abuser now. So uh, their justification of them being a child abuser is because everyone else is their parents. Oh, well, his own parents are. He must be a piece of shit. Therefore, I have the right to be a child abuser. Yo, you guys are all pieces of shits, bro. Like all the piece of shit in my comment on the bus. Yo, I let a fucking woman go in first. An Asian fucking bitch. An Asian bitch was running for the bus. I wait at the open door to let her go in first. Now I'm the racist misogynistic, bro. How? When I'm letting Asian women go in first? You guys are fucking stupid, bro. And then you see all the fucking losers in the comments, bro. You see all the losers in the fucking comments. Mostly guys, it's always guys. You click on their channel, some video game playing monkey, bro. Some piece of shit dick sucking video game playing monkey. Talking down to me. Yo, go, bro, ask permission from your wife to come and play with me, bro. You fucking pee. I'm tired of these pieces of shits, bro. But yeah, and their kids can't fucking speak. Huh? Think about my kids. What the fuck does me having something to do outside have to do with your fucking kids, you stupid fucking? They want to give you orders and tell you what it can do. I'm shooting archery in the back in the forest. I could do that. You're not going to, no one's going to get in trouble because I'm doing archery, which is 100% legal. They got fucking archery targets at fucking Don Mills in Eglinton and different places. It's a sport. You can't get in trouble for doing a legal sport, you stupid. Think about... No, you think about your kids and teach them how to fucking speak. You fucking piece of shit. Yo, you guys have kids for, like I said, for, for motivation. Uh, well, and yeah, then you have more kids and then you're going to go harder. Yeah, yeah. You're so smart. Now let's take some of that fucking... Fucking D student rationalization and, and fucking let's apply that in life. Yeah. Let's have a thousand kids. And fucking leave them out there by themselves. Because we're so fucking smart, the kid is just going to know everything. It's going to trickle down from our genius DNA into the kid. And now, da -da, the kid knows everything because we know everything. Da -da. That's how it works. You guys are fucking losers, bro. You don't have no fucking kids if you're not going to fucking spend time with them and teach them everything and, and be there for them, bro. Or you're going to fucking give them away and set them up for death a million times because you're a fucking piece of shit. Incompetent fucking piece of shit that can't raise your own fucking kids and spreads their fucking legs and makes more kids. Fucking piece of shit, motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm fucking upset with these piece of shit fucking adults. But these piece of shit adults that fucking go get their kids beat. And the kid is three, four years old. Listen, bro, you're going to get me beat up. And then you're going to come in and feel bad. You're going to get beat. And we're both going to be beat up. And the motherfucker still goes and does it and gets you beat up. And herself beat up. And you're there like four years old. Like, bro, are these guys fucking stupid? Because I'm four years old and I can see what's coming. I can see what's coming because I know this. Like, you see the motherfucker and you see the situation and you can see what's coming, bro. This guy's a fucking piece of shit woman abuser and child abuser. And this dumb bitch is going to say something that you did something negative to the woman a child abuser. What do you think he's going to do? He's not going to slap the kid? Of course he's going to slap the kid. Like, it's not hard to figure it out, bro. And these guys are four, 30 years old and playing the... Ever, and well, it's his mother. It must be true. These piece of shit weren't reading and writing in five languages at 10 years old. Her piece of shit fucking kids weren't either, bro. They, didn't, they weren't under fifth language... They didn't take Italian. Even in their English and French, they were struggling. With the same teachers, Madame Dornup, bro. Call Madame Dornup, bro. And Miss Palacaris. Call them. Motherfuckers. I'm tired of this shit. And I left school after I've been working ever since, so. These motherfuckers still have university debts, bro. 25 grand. Yo, I paid 40 fucking grand just on moving trucks to move my shit from place to place when these pieces of shit keep fucking selling their houses because the fucking banks keep raising their fucking rates. Fucking playing fucking musical chairs with my fucking life, bro. I told this bitch to get that house. Oh, no, 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 no. They know everything. I bet you if I was the firstborn son, she would have got it. They would have been millionaires. Bro, all the, yo, I paid 600 grand in rent, bro. Do you know what that is? Six, do you know what I had to do for that money? You fuck. These guys just started working. I've been working since like 99, 2000 legally, bro. And I've been working all my life since three fucking years old. I just didn't get fucking paid. And I even here, I was shoveling snow at 11 years old. I was getting paid. And, and it was like legal money. Like I wasn't, it wasn't crime, but it wasn't like paying taxes and shit. Just shoveling snow in the fucking streets and in the snow and shit. Cutting lawns and shit. I've done that shit, bro. I've been making money since I was fucking three. And these fucking piece of shit scumbags want to fucking talk down to me when I'm handicapped. The one year I'm handicapped. Yo, I should have been making videos, but yo, I was on the first floor, bro. I had like 50 stacks. The Benz, the thing. 
I'm on the first floor with 10 chains. Yo, my roommate, some old people that leave the door open on the front floor. And I was in, I couldn't find a place for parking. So I was there for like five, six years, bro. Government housing, fucking crackheads by the window. Police by the window. Like, people see me with 10 chains. These guys have the door open. I'm not trying to encourage nobody, you know? So I wasn't making no videos. But you saw my house, like, luxurious and shit. My room, yo. But, yo, people try to run in on it. I have to defend myself. It gets ugly. For what? You know what I mean? To make some, no one cares about those videos. But the one year I didn't make no fucking money, all other fools and their piece of shit mothers and brothers want to jump on my dick, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, bro, I'll give you a chin. You're not going to make your home with it. Your fucking ninja's going to slap the teeth out your mouth and take it from you. <laughs> fucking loser. I'm tired of these fucking losers. But yo, if you have fucking kids, raise your fucking kids, bro. And, and help your kids. Because if you don't, you're telling everybody, you're putting your kid out like a, a sitting duck. You're like, yo. That, and that's what everyone's like, oh, you must be a piece of shit. Well, his own parents won't help him. So, 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 let's get him. <laughs> guys are pieces of shit, bro. You're setting up your kids for failure and for death. You know what I'm saying? And I'm back from the dead for a million fucking times. And I was a straight A student. So I don't give a fuck what you piece of shit special ed monkeys say and do. Because you're all fucking special ed monkeys, bro. I was, I, was, I was at school with you fucking losers. And you're only, you can't read and write. You're adults that can't read and write. Read the comments, bro. Read the comments. They can't read and write. In their only language. Read. Bro, can't make this up, bro. Can't make this up. And they're one and only language. Bro, I was at work with these fucking losers. In offices. Every, yo, in offices with these fools from the university that can't read and write. These guys tell you anything you want to hear on the phone. These are all pieces of shits, bro. Like, bro, this is 40 years later. Why? Why? I, I, I did the right thing, bro. I was a straight-A student. I told a bitch to buy the house. I, I paid for three of those houses since. I, I, yo, I've been doing the right things, bro. I've been giving people... I, I was the one that told everyone not to take that shit. You guys all took. Yo, I've been doing the right thing for fucking 40 years, bro. And they've been blocking me and hating me because I'm the only guy that's honest and true with it. Even on here, bro, they gave me a bunch of strikes and all that. Bro, it's what it is, bro, but yo... Take care of your fucking family and your family's a family unit, bro. So if you're not down with the team, you're just, it's all you and you, 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 you're the boss, you're the man, just, 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 me, 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 fuck everybody. Then fuck everybody, you motherfucker, and stay by yourself, you fucking piece of shit. You don't fucking have kids and everybody and you fucking let everyone around you fuck up and fucking know nothing. You guys, yo, you guys are fucking incompetent. Yo, you're incompetent, fool. You can't be a leader and a boss when you don't fucking know nothing. That's why your kids don't know nothing and can't speak. Yo, you need to know something to lead some, the team. And to be a boss, you stupid fuck. Who are you going to lead when you're blind? And you don't know nothing. You're going to lead them to the death gas chambers? You guys are fucking stupid. You're going to talk down to me? And disrespect me? You, yo. I'm going to go relax, bro. I'm going to go calm down. You know what I'm saying? But yo, I shouldn't even have been dealing with any of these fucking fools anywhere, bro. I was a straight-A student. I was a straight-A student in five languages. Not the first one. You guys want to play the intelligent diplomats now. And I'm the black sheep like I was some idiot. Oh, he was in jail. I was in jail. I was in jail because your fucking mother that you stole from sent me there. To the foster dad to kill me, bro. Because you stole from her. She blamed me for your stealing. Not for mine. I never got caught. And I wasn't stealing no fucking quarters. Yo, I'm tired of this shit. And, and, and fuck if, you know what I mean? I'm dealing with the aftermath of this shit while these fucking piece of shit losers and fools want to play the fucking, the intelligent guy and the good guy and the, while they fucking let con men go with the knife still in hand. And the intelligent and make it, he started him right in the heart. I'm tired of hearing stories, yo. And why, yo, don't be a piece of shit, bro. Yo, I'm tired of these pieces of shit. And they leave their, I'm trying to help their fucking kids and their kids, they don't want to help them. I'm like, yo, listen, they're not listening to you, bro. They might listen to me. They might fucking listen to me, bro. Oh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? you just been raising them for 20 fucking years, bro. If they take that shit in the dirt, it was all for nothing, you stupid fuck. Yo, you guys are like, I don't know, bro. That's what I'm saying. You, these guys should make a test, a parental test. And if you feel that shit, you're not allowed to have kids. You're a selfish fuck. And, yo, bro, that's fine. Go be a selfish fuck. You don't need to bring in kids and, and, and fuck up their lives because you're a piece of shit, incompetent fool. You don't, you don't need to do that. You could just do that on your own, bro, and leave a kid out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, anyways, you guys have a good day, bro. I'm going to go do my thing, bro. You know, I, I can't even talk about these things without, like, you know? Anyways, you guys have a good day, bro.